Just walked into my boy Willie's shop, man. This is gonna be doing the top on my drop, man. And the other thing, man, check this out. The headrest that came through the back of the seat. And the... This is gonna be doing my top, man. Actually, the same top as the top that I will be getting on my car. For everybody who don't know, uh, drop tops, man. It's like you can spend all the way up to ten thousand dollars, anywhere from five to ten, replacing the top. Just, just getting it to work properly. Keeping this shit all the way one hundred. Ain't doing no sucker shit. Every dollar in my bank roll real. I don't do counterfeit, nigga. I'm on fire right now. Turned out why would I quit? I'm back to breaking everything down. I'm on my full shit. I pull shit. a Remy at a red light. Patron at a fight night. Sue my chick, them both told her don't let them leave your eyesight. Me mugging don't mean. Yeah, just walked into my boy Willie's shop, man. This is gonna be doing the top on my drop, man. Yes, sir. And I'm gonna have him install my seats in. I had Diego wrap them, but I'm gonna have my boy install the seats in. As a fact, we just walked in on some stuff. What you got going on over here? 96 Impala, SS seats, and to redo the seats, well, I noticed that the, uh, the cushion had a little dip like this. Yeah. So I knew something was going on underneath the, took the cover off, and all the springs is broke. I mean, this was literally hanging, so I don't know how he was riding with this, and somebody did a zip tie. And the other problem is, it's got some broken welds back here, so the whole seat, that's why the seat leaning back. That's so why the seat leaning back. Yeah, so because it's broken. It's supposed to be a lever to. Right, to let it back. But right now, it's just, it's broke, man. So we're going to have to, we got to get another seat. Start fresh with a better so spring. this seat ain't. It's not good enough. It ain't again, even. I can fix one well. It's yeah. broken in three places. That metal's so small. Where is where is where is uh, welded at? That it'll just come back. You know what I'm saying? So. So the money he has spent fixing this seat, right. he could probably buy a new one. Buy another seat. And have you to wrap it. And we gonna wrap that seat. Yeah. Cause what that thing I need is been to come back, man, and the seat break cause the well break. And then the other thing, man, check this out. The headrest. It came through the back of the seat and the messed up the seat foam, and that's actually metal in the back of the seat. All this metal right here is broken. Damn. So I don't know if you know. Is the driver's seat or the passenger? This, driver, this driver's seat. Oh, he been riding the shit. How many miles is on the car? Uh, man, probably like a, I don't know, like about a hundred. Hey, cuz, how many miles on that car? About hundred and thirty. He been getting his money worth oh, out of it. He got his money worth of the seat. I'm saying, <laughs> I ain't never seen. Sometimes you get them like this, man. They be bad, and you just gotta bring them back yeah. to life. He's <laughs> the upholstery shop, not this a welding shop. We see. We, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, you know, you never know what you're gonna what you're gonna run across. That's why I told him. I said, man, let me get it apart. Let me figure out what's going on. I mean, look, the spring right here is. It's hanging on the back of the, back of the room, man. So, yeah. But we're going to get them together, man. You know, That's what's up. Make them straight. And, uh, so, look, man. Y'all, we out here at my boy Will's shop, man. Check around, man. He got some stuff in here. He's doing a lot of drops, man. He got some stuff going on over here. What you doing to drop? Top on this over here? Yeah. Top, interior, and need framework, man. So, like. Framework as the drop top frame? Yeah. Head of bow was rotted out in the front, so we took the head of bow off. Just like mine. Number two bow rotted out. The rear bow rotted out. So we're gonna replace all the bows, replace all the tack strips, sand and paint the frame, put all the new parts back on there. It's gonna need a new motor. It's gonna need basically need everything. I mean, a full, full rebuild. Full rebuild on the top rack. Then once we get all that stuff working, put the top on, go ahead and gut the inside. Well, go ahead and put the inside back together. Like we already started. Taking the old dash out because it's getting that digi. So I got a Dakota digi in there. So I just took all that stuff out. I just got to so run. Are you, are you doing the, the Dakota. air fresh? I mean, are you doing the AC stuff? I see you go this far as taking everything out of the dashboard, but I see people go that far to take all of what you just did to fix the AC. Right. So do you do that too or no? I don't do the AC. The good thing about this one is a factory AC car and all the air works. But I okay. am gonna change out all the vents. We're gonna put the chrome vents in there, all the Sandman trim. We're gonna redo the whole dash because we're doing a color change. So and you get the Sandman trim too, right? Yep, Sandman. Sandman trim on everything. We're swapping out the steering wheel, putting the Forger steering wheel on there. 
HDX, Digi Dash, carpet, kick panels, pods, everything. What about the dash? Are you getting those or are they bringing their own stuff or what? I'm getting the dash. Yep, it's actually in the box over there. So, okay. like right here, um, I started running the wire. And so, one of the things on a lot of these cars when you do uh, Dakota Digital, mm. um, you got to run the temp sensor, right? And so, on this car, the temp sensor is down there by the manifold. It's in such a tight spot. So a lot of times what I do is I change the housing and put the temp sensor um, inside the thermostat housing. So then that way it's gonna read properly. Cause the last thing you want is somebody to overheat, you know what I'm saying? And the temperature not working right. So right. basically gonna run the wires for that, put that on, put the digi in there, put the interior back together and back to the cadence she goes. Okay, cool. Take the cars in too, huh? What you oh, got yeah. over here to the right? Bottom this the car I want, man. I want one of these. What is this, a bro ham? This is bro ham. Okay. Quarter top bro ham. Uh, full interior, all black, ultra leather, pillow seats, carpet. So basically, I got the back seats done. I got all the door panels and stuff like that done. So it's just a matter of, uh, I'm working on the seat belts right now. So then that way I can put the whole back end together, the headline and the roof and all that's done. You did the roof? No, the roof was already done. But I ain't had to worry about the headliner because I just had to put everything back up there. So you did the like, rag though, right? Yeah, no, actually the rag was already done. When you it came, was, it, when, it, when it came, yeah, yeah. Okay. And you know, whoever did it did a really nice job because when I looked at, it, I said, man, this type of stuff what it would look like if we was doing it. So right. they did a really nice job on it. Um, so we basically just doing the full interior on this one. And I um, see you got the back of the inside. Oh yeah, the doors already. Yeah. Oh yeah. The doors already did. Yes, sir. You got something on the other door. Did you say you did this door? Yep. I gotta replace that armrest strap. So he had one that was broken. So I ordered one. And then once I get that in, put that he in. He just went for the OG look, right? Yeah, OG with the carpet back in the Man, car. I would love to yep. buy this car, bro. Yep. I swear, bro. Yep. He can keep them small ass wheels, but I would love to buy this car, bro. Just an OG. I don't got nothing. Everything I got is just exotic. You know what I'm saying? I would love to buy this, bro. Man, very, bro. And then it's like OG, but I think I'm going to go for more. I think it might be for sale, actually. He probably going to want a million, though, bro. I think it might be for sale. He probably going to want a million. I already know, bro. These cars right here, right now, that's yeah. two more cars I want. I want this. I want a, one of these box Chevys, and I want a two-door Malibu at 79. They're like for my bills. This one out. They're my new cars that I want. After I get through with these ones and get my business and right. stuff all up it's this car right here in the 79 oh, yeah. what you got over here on the drop uh, 75 grand we just gonna put the top on here so did the top the glass um this corner window was bad so we had to put new rollers in we put new weather stripping on there and she actually ready to be picked up so let's get you did the whole top yep. what kind of uh what kind of uh condition was the frame in when it you when it came what? this frame was for a scissor top in the last five years. This frame was in perfect condition. It's, well, a, very, it's a low malice car. Okay. Um, we didn't have to paint the frame. The ball pivot was great. I mean, everything on the frame was right. Everything worked. The only thing we had to do was replace the top, the glass, and the well. Can you everything see the glass on the back? Yep. So you use real glass? Real glass. Damn, definitely real glass. Real perfect glass. Well. They came here just to get that. So what was the interior? You already done? No, it's all original. Okay. Yeah, all original. The top, the the, the door, the doors and stuff. That's original. All original. Yeah, all, it's a low mountain car. All original. Ain't never been touched. Yep, ain't never been touched. So this is gonna be doing my top, man. Actually, the same top as the top that I will be getting on my car. You know what I'm saying? So he, I have to get a full rebuild right. on my top. So and and. Reason why I'm walking y'all through these steps and showing y'all this because I didn't understand this when I got a drop top, but I don't think people understand and realize what it means to have a drop top. Man, just the, having a drop top alone, you can have to replace the whole everything. And that's almost like buying another old school. And I didn't realize that. And I, and I like cars, but just for me to y'all, you know what I'm saying, going forward, Everybody who don't know uh, drop tops, man, it's like you can spend all the way up to ten thousand dollars, anywhere from five to ten, replacing the top, just just getting it to work properly. I don't know if some people into cars, but everybody into cars. Right. So 
Just just keep that in mind, man. When you see in an old school and a top like this, man, just on the refurbished side. Yeah, and, the, and the other thing I would say, I tell people is this. I like to try to educate folks so they understand what they spend their money on. You know what I mean? Because, you know, you tell somebody it's going to be 3000 4000 whatever it is on a top. They're like, man, why is it so expensive? Well, every top... The, the cost to repair isn't always going to be the same. It's because of the condition. Right. So I always tell people, when you're going to go buy a car, make sure it's working. Make sure the top of stuff is working. Because right. if it's not working, you don't really know why or what you're going to need. And they can get really expensive. And, I mean, and, and then... And if anything is broke on it or rotted out nine times out of ten, everything needs to be replaced. Right. While you're in there, right. you might as well do it all. That's the time to do it because you're going to save yep. on the labor. Ain't no sense of taking shortcuts and leaving stuff, you know, any kind of way, man. Because at the end and of the day... And if one thing that went out, something else probably finna get ready to go out too. So I didn't know. I have to do a full rebuild on my car. I thought I was getting a good car. Well, actually, I did get it for a yeah, good you price. Got a good car. I got a good car. I got it for a good price. But when I came and I heard the price, I didn't understand. It was a price I didn't understand. And that, that's back to what he's saying. I didn't understand that I have to rebuild everything. You got the top, and there's so much under this top. You got you got shocks, pistons, everything. pistons that make them go up and down. You got the motor, you got cables, you got clamps, tack strips, pads, windows in the back, it's rails that hold this up. It's another piece that go across the top. It's another piece to go right here. It's a frame that all of that sit in. It's clamps to hold it down. So it's it's a whole lot, man, that got to do with the drop top. And I was luckily educated by my boy right here. Cause I, like I say, I didn't know, I didn't understand. And like I say, you looking in between five to ten thousand dollars sometime rebuilding a brand new top, man. And as y'all see, doing a lot of them in the shop. Here's another one over here. Is that glass too? Glass window. Seven tray from Detroit. Yeah, this Detroit dope too. It's dope too, man. So I'm able to get educated, man. Cause this, you know, drop top is something new for me, and it won't be my. It's my first, but it won't be my last. So I'm, I'm getting educated firsthand here at my boy. And actually, can I open the door? You say you doing this right here too? You did the dashboard on it. Okay. Well, he's starting to do this, man. And as you see, I see some stuff right here too. This blue, this. What color blue is that? Is that a navy? Yeah, it's like, it's actually called imperial blue. It's a, dope, it's a dope blue on there, man. Oh. So, like I said, man, I'm over here, my boy. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube. You got YouTube, right? Yes, sir. What's your YouTube? Parasite. You got your phone with you? Oh, yeah. Can you bring it out? Can you oh, pull yeah. it out? Yes, sir. Y'all make sure y'all go follow my boy on Instagram, and Y'all follow my boy on YouTube. He will be installing my seats on my vert, and he will be installing my top on my vert we got a lot of footage coming soon so before everybody get to asking me it's the dot right here um, what's his youtube make sure y'all go subscribe to his uh youtube here's auto upholstery you got 209 followers man y'all make sure y'all go run it up he got some videos already that he got coming with some installs and stuff um i'm gonna give him my car so that i think that's a, by this video right here and um by this video right here and, and just me giving him my car to do it I did a lot of research on them, number good, um, number good answers and uh, 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 requests that I got from them. People telling me to come to them on top of them, bring y'all in. Y'all see, you know what he's doing, what he's talking about. Um, come on, check him out. Follow him on IG as well. You got Instagram as well. Instagram, What's your IG? Facebook. What's your IG? Pull your IG out. Make sure y'all go follow him on IG, man. Subscribe to his YouTube, man. Here is auto upholstery, man. Y'all make sure y'all go run them up to 10K on the Instagram uh, followers, man. Make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel on the YouTube, man. Run them up. He's really not an internet guy. The internet something really new to him. He been working for a long time. He just don't have a lot of, uh, he don't do a lot of internet stuff, but that's on the way. That's on the way. You know, everybody got to start somewhere. The work been here, as y'all see, stuff all around, man. This is lavish shop. I want his workers in here helping him out. Uh, official, man, you see the seat. All the way to the drop, one of the boxes, drop, drop. So y'all make sure y'all go to like, subscribe to his YouTube channel. Also go hit his Instagram, go tune in with him, man. He been working, don't pay attention to the numbers. Run him up, man, he been in the business for a long time. And footage coming soon on my drop, man. Tap in with y'all in a minute. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to my channel if y'all haven't already, man. It's your boy Sugar Man on that, man, I'm out. Gang. What?
Swiss on a willy On that YC 450 a five bike like Lee. Let's crank it up, who fucking with me? Gang shit, no lame shit yeah. Old school's candy paint yeah. Supercharged when I lame shit Don't act dumb, you know what's up with me Sugar man on that Where my DG scale at? Never mind that, it's a contract Where them Zaza bills at? They like where you mail it at I'm like where your runner at? Ford, Dooley, hold a hundred Marshall, fuck that